Hey everybody, Jay Barino here, welcome back. We're playing Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. We're on mission 5 of El Cid, King of Valencia. The Cid was in exile again, and this time there were no more Moors to welcome him in. He wandered the bleak rocks of Castile, and wondered if his tale was finally at an end. And yet, a remarkable thing happened. Many mercenaries and knights knew of the tales of the sea and were eager to follow him, even without the castle. As the sea wandered further south, more men, Christian and Muslim, joined his army. Eventually, the sea had a large enough force to carve out a fifth of his own. King Alfonso had set his sights on beautiful Valencia, the jewel of the Moorish coast. But the seed was closer and could get there sooner. If he conquered Valencia, the seed would have protection not only from the machinations of Alfonso, but also a bulwark against the of Yusuf and the Berbers. Events would have unfolded simply then, had not our old enemy, Count Berenguero Barcelona, picked that moment to strike back at the seed. What a jerk. The game is frozen. There we go. The faces have appeared at least. Here we go. El Cid must once again find a new city in which to live. El Cid is restricted to a pop limit of 125. El Cid no longer serves the Moors. Your technology tree is Spanish once again. Look for soldiers and villagers who would join the Cid. You will need an army to take Valencia. Know when to fight and when to run away. Count Berenger's army is mighty. But he does not own a navy, therefore you can get plenty of food from the Mediterranean, but fielding your own navy is not necessary. Beringer's mountain fortress is virtually impenetrable. Although you can slow him down by a direct assault, that is not the path to victory. Our seat is alone again, and this time our bro Matamid cannot come to my assistance. There are several towns in southern Spain that might prove allies, Denia, Lerida, and Valencia. None of these towns can field a large military. Alcide's enemy is once again Count Berenger. Berenger has a well-fortified city in the north that will prove very difficult to siege. As such, other avenues to victory are a better option. Berenger relies on a combined arms of archery units, infantry, and knights, along with a plethora of siege weapons. Construct your defense as well. Interesting. So this sounds like it's going to eventually be a defense mission, because it very clearly says that sieging his town is not how you win. But I guess we can't know that yet until we continue. Know when to fight and when to run away. Okay, here we go. Hello? It's me, El Cid. Find a new city. Okay. Well, it's probably going to be one of these, if I had to guess. It is the one they call the Cid. If we bring his head, Count Berenguer will be most pleased. Okay, sure. This is going fine. Very nice. Okay. You are welcome here, my son. We will follow your commands my if you can help you defend us from Count Barenga. Um, we're not going to be doing too much help in, to defend you. I think this is the whole know when to run away thing, because there's no TC here. So I'm going to guess... Let's just look around a little bit. I'm going to guess we're going to be getting the heck out of here really soon. But we have access to decent amounts of tech unit, tech buildings. So, like, I could research stuff now. Like, I could get murder holes now for later. Because, like, a university is... T well, we're at Castle Age, but, like, it's expensive to get that set up. Okay. Found his base. Keep looking. Keep, like, just come, like, down and around the base, because, again, eventually we're going to have to get out of here. Inevitably. Maybe spending that food to get pikemen would have been smarter. Let's do that now. Again, we might as well... Okay, I see. Like, we might as well research what we can now. And then as they, like, slowly wipe out this whole this whole base, then we just get out of here. Uh, okay, I already see, because this gate is not ours and it's locked. I immediately recognize what's happening here. So it's going to let us leave here very soon. 
um, because of this. Okay, we got our pikemen. Because, like, we clearly can't attack this, though maybe we could if we were, like, really, really... Uh, I guess diligent and tried to... Berengar is attacking! Ours is but a peaceful village. We cannot defend ourselves. We should flee south across the river. Yeah, open up. Yep, okay, exactly. You play enough maps like this across the genre and you, you recognize what's going on pretty quick. Alright, so let's go to the next town that we will have a short amount of time in and then we will once again flee. Which, yeah, it's gonna be Larita. It is the seed! Finally, have we found a lord worthy of our service. We got some knights. Again, still not enough to fight back against what's going on up here. That's just a lot of knights. I would love to take out that siege weaponry if I could. Keep running, workers. Um, hello? Would you like to join me? I would like it if you joined me. Now they got a market. It is El Cid Campeador. We will throw down our nets and follow him to Valencia. So they're telling me to go to Valencia right away. Where is Valencia? It must be vaguely up in this direction. I don't. They didn't give me control of their town this time. Okay. Well, again, I think we've like sort of got him. I think we're sort of figuring out what we need to do. If it's, like, right here, that would be cool. Let's go and send him up there, because it probably won't trigger till he, he himself moves in that direction. No. Nope. We have heard of the Cid's piety, and would humbly join his service. Welcome, El Cid, to Valencia. We have suffered much in this war, but those days are past. We know that you will restore the city to its former glory. El Cid Campeador. We claim Valencia in the name of King Alfonso. Turn back at once. Um, okay, hang on. So save, save. <laughs> What's going on here? So let's save, because clearly something's happening. Defend Valencia's wonder? What? Okay, you all just get to work on sheep. Uh, we have no lumber. That's going to be a problem. We got to get outside of these walls and take care of that, like, ASAP. So let's, um... Let's just come on over... He, I don't even have enough lumber to build a lumber camp. Okay, that's fine. Here, you come over here and gather these sheep. Yep, bring them in, boys. Okay, then up here. Bring them on over here. Start making workers. Where do we want to make our second TC? hard to come by in these parts. We will try to give you what we can. We were just given lumber, which is enough to build another TC. Honestly, over here is tempting because there's a lot of lumber. Alternatively, we just go here. You guys stay here. Don't just ignore that. So this group is going to be getting to me very soon. Uh, let's focus on getting food set up ASAP. And then let's build a mining camp right here. Come on up here and... Save us, please. And then I think I'm going to spend food that I have on pikemen because we know that there are a lot of there's a lot of cavalry. So they got one guy. They have one guy building a wonder, and I can't assist them in doing it. That's weird. And it's going to take forever. All right. Are my monks still alive, or did they get killed by something? I wasn't watching my army for a brief time, and I think now they're dead. See? Darn it. Okay, well. Just get workers. You guys stay inside the walls. You guys look around. Hey, it's a good thing I got murder holes. Come down here and, like, up here... I see some gold right there. I'd like to find a different place to... 
to set up. That's still happening. If they don't destroy that blacksmith, that would be wonderful. Just wonderful. Losing those monks really sucks. Just casually throw them away, I guess. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna remake them. If we could take any of the enemy knights, that would be really big. Um, that looks juicy, like a good spot for a TC. Maybe we can get that set up in a bit. Um, we're gonna come down here on the assumption that that's where those enemies are coming from. Let's go ahead and get a fishing ship. They said fish out of the, out of the Mediterranean, though. Honestly, destroying some walls and setting up something there would be better. It's going to get a mill. Um, this is pretty spooky. Again, the first major attack is going to come from... Where are they? Maybe they're coming at me right now. Did they leave the university? They did. Haha. -ha. Okay. Continue to make pikemen? Continue to make workers? On stone, please? As soon as they come from over here, I think I'll go ahead and set up a, a TC over in that direction. Okay, come back, come back. Um, I think we need to get upgrades here. Let's get rid of these trebuchets ASAP. Before their buddies show up, you know? Okay, there were a bunch of rams too. Okay, they want to kill my monastery. I guess that's fine. Hey, we got rid of their two trebs. That's huge. Let me see if I can take one of these guys. Or both of them. I did? Okay. Thanks for that. Again, I don't... I don't think that I can get away with... Building a TC... You know what? I'm gonna do it. Again, they were up in that direction, but now they seem to be in a different place. So this is fine with me. Let's just try to get an army set up. Here they are. Let's pick one of them and go for them in the back. I built these pikemen for a reason. So let's get them in there. As long as Elcid is in the... Elcid is fine. Okay, we got the rams. Again, and as long as Elcid is fine and he is, then we're all good. Uh, I know that fishing from the sea is, like, better value. So I should probably transition to doing that. What if we just delete the walls? And then... Set this up. Like that. Lumber is the current problem. If we can get this set up... They ignored this, and my monastery is still alive. That's pretty big. Okay, now we have to... I'm going to go ahead and transition to lumber over here. In fact, I'm going to do them... Um, send them over here. Better spot for lumber. It's just going to take them a while to get there. Actually, up here is fine for now. No need to chase. We're going to want uh, a castle up here when I can afford it. Let's get some fishing ships going. Stone's coming out at a reasonable rate. Don't chase too far, please. Just come back. I almost have enough for the castle, though I don't know how valuable that's going to be. I think they killed my missionaries again, but that's... Oh, no, I have one alive. 
Go and take him, I guess. Take what you can. Okay. Go ahead and get these guys on lumber. What about the blacksmith? What can we get? Uh, Bodkin arrow for sure. Okay, I need you to just sort of like scout the Mediterranean so I can see where all the, sh the fish even are. Okay, and then come on up here. We're going to build a castle where we can fit it, which is there. Cool. And then, honestly, getting to Imperial Age seems out of the question at this point. A fire ship. Oh, that's my, oh, that's my allies, I should say. That's good. That's fine. Okay, let's transition to gold. We're getting more folks here. I do think when we can... We want to start getting some light cab because it can kill... Um, let's say it first and foremost because it can kill siege weaponry very quickly. Again, it's just expensive. Okay, it's all well and good. Go there and then here... The castle will protect us from this kind of stuff. Ballistics would be nice. Can't currently afford it. Keep making workers over here. Keep making workers up here. Lumber's coming in at a good rate. I'm going to take this group because we don't need all this lumber anymore. You're going to come down here on stone. That's done. I can't help them with that. Okay, I just wanted to check. I cannot help them with that. That would be really, really, like, too good, I think. I'm going to keep making pikemen. I know it's kind of weird, but every little bit. I see some scorpions coming through here. If I get enough stone, I can just build another castle over here. And we need to get light cavalry before we do much else and husbandry. And then we're just going to slam out light cavalry to protect us as best we can. Ballistics would be nice. Can't really afford it right now. I guess we can get a market. We can trade with Valencia. There's really nothing else that I can afford at this exact moment, but I, I just need more food. With the lumber that I have, I'm just going to get more farms. I see a flood of units coming on the mini-map at this moment, so just start building stuff and bring them up here. Uh, wow. Okay, that castle's gonna go down really fast. El Cid, go, just go to the back and go on the Bombard Towers and stuff. Enemy Bombard Towers, like, really targeting him down. There's multiple enemy Bombard Towers that are killing him. Just come back here and garrison in there, buddy, because you're gonna die. Just kill the Rams first and foremost. We can worry about the rest later. Looks like I actually did not have enough here. I had recently saved. I'm wondering what else we... Again, uh, getting that scout cavalry out earlier would have been good. This is one where, like, you kind of sit and wait for a while, and then they just hit you with a really, really big attack, and you don't know when it's going to show up. So, like, I did overboom on the left there for sure. Okay, so like all of you come on over here. We're just gonna do food so that we can get like cab out faster. That's fine. And then with my food. I should probably build a market and then we could sell the extra lumber. Okay, the big thing, too, is that they're covered by those Bombard Towers that are back there. Which is frightening, to say the least. All right, come on down here. Okay, 
Okay, I guess they'll figure that out over time. Is this part of the big attack? I don't think so. Um, start slamming light cavalry. Not enough food. Um, I could get a second castle. I'm just going to start building some towers as well. I mean, we just sort of need to chill by the gates and then hope that it, you know, kind of works out. Again, that's a really big attack, and we just need to build whatever we can right now to try to hold out. Here it comes. Can't get into it. Castle focus the onagers. You guys stay back and kill the rams. You guys need to kill the onagers. I'll see it is okay for now. Those backline trebs are going to be one of the major issues. If that's not obvious. Also, there are bombard towers. I'm going to start making some conquistadors. I can't really afford them, to be completely honest, but we got to do what we can do. Again, the fact that they have trebs that are covered by bombard towers is really, really rough. Oh, he just died. He just died. Okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is a situation where I'm not really sure the best way to, to handle this. I think maybe we needed to do harder on food income and less on everything else. So we'll do that. And then I need a group of light cavalry that can dive the back line. And just right click those trebs and bombard cannons. I think that's the I think that's the only way. And I'm just I'm lacking a lot of food. So let's maybe like position our army a little closer to the front the front lines here. To ensure that we can actually fight these guys. We might be able to catch them on their way into us also. Okay. I might just be too far gone and have to outright restart. I'm not sure. It's one of those types of missions where they 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 do that. If I put skirmishers... I don't even know if any skirmishers are still alive. But if I put skirmishers inside the castle, does that increase the rate of fire? Because they're technically an archery unit, but they're not. They are, but they aren't. I, I don't know. Okay. Bring them in a circle. Those bombard cannons that are that cover them on their way in is just really awful. Like just terrible. We did better the first time. I'm just not sure. Uh, maybe we need to figure out how to destroy those bombard towers as well, or we just let them destroy the castle and fight them more on our terms rather than diving on top of them. Again, I'm I'm loading a save. And it's sort of in desperation, but I think this save is too far back. Or I'm, so, I'm sorry, it's too it's too close to like where we we need to be. Like you need to have workers very specifically on food and less on lumber. I noticed that we didn't have access to much lumber, so I went for lumber, but that was a mistake. That was clearly the mistake. So this castle's gonna go. Period. That's that's fine. We accept that. Um, I could build another behind the wonder, and in fact, I sort of wish I would have done that. We're gonna put you guys on stone and maybe start that castle as I have described it. Okay, so that's gonna finish. Let's get these two, as I had mentioned. And yeah, see, I don't know if conquist... I mean, conquistadors, you can... 
you can micro a little bit better, or a lot better rather, than what I have built. There were, there's not nearly as much cavalry as I expected. It's almost all siege weaponry, and I wish I would have uh, focused on that more. See? And if I have to redo the whole thing, that's that's fine. Uh, it's not like it's a super long map. Oh, we have a second blacksmith in our in our area here. Because I imagine if there's other, if there's like um, actual infrastructure around it, they won't focus the wonder. Though I really I can't be sure about that. Okay, here it comes. Let's do it like this. And it w you just have to accept that this castle's gonna go. That's that's fine. That's acceptable. Okay, do it. And then LC just sort of run in a circle and try to distract the bombard towers. Or actually go on top of the onagers at least. Okay, and then we're going to kind of run in a circle. My entire army died. I do have some scout cavalry. Let's try to do this. The castle's actually still alive for now. That's not going to be for long. But we have a second one that's behind us. I'm going to make scout cavalry, and I'm going to make uh, pikemen. Let's see what they do now. Don't 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 let them take my stuff. See, they're moving up with the trebs. So it's just kind of like a a spot where they sort of baited us into attacking them. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Now Seed is in here to absorb some of the heat. Okay, back up. And we're going to need to rebuild some of this infrastructure. I'll be honest, I don't care that much about whatever's going on over there. I guess if I could say that, that would be nice. Okay, again, that was a really spooky large attack. We're alive. We have a general sense of what we need to do now. All of you are going to transition you over to this lumber. I think the scout cab was the right choice in the moment. This is why I was making halberdiers. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, just run in a circle, please. We're gonna run you over there. I have so much lumber, but I can't spend it on anything, I don't think. And I hear I am getting... Um, stuff is being stolen. Okay, well, I do have double coverage from my castles, so that's something, I guess. I killed a monk. That's something. Biggest issue are going to be the rams. <laughs> run, El Cid. Just run. Oh my god, I put too many guys on lumber. This is a big, big problem. I think we can handle this. Okay, you garrison. They're attacking the wonder. Get them scout cavalry. Okay. 
Okay, somehow we're still alive. I thought I sent workers up to attack or, or to build the flippin' uh, gate, and I don't know where they went. Up here, please. I think I have the right idea with the composition that I'm building. Cram them in there. They're just, they're still chopping away. She's doing it. They're doing it. Okay, I'm going to get some of my own knights. Food continues to be a problem. We need to get these gates set up. I just noticed this. Why do our starting gates have so little health? Let's go ballistics. Um, I'm not sure if we've made it through the worst of it, or this is a brief reprieve, so I'm going to save. They are attacking us with normal archers, which is awesome. I feel like that first primary, that first major attack was the biggest of them, or the scariest of them, I should say. Bosa, Bonesa, oh my god, I had these guys the whole time. Um... Oh, they destroyed my monastery. I was about to say I should get some monks. This castle back here wasn't entirely worthless. It did help a little bit. Okay, well, now I have a gate. So they have cavaliers. I need to go to imp if I want to match this. Let's back up here and let's get a couple missionaries. Because I can afford it. I, I really wish I could help them build this. I should just delete this gate and build a better one. That's really terrible. I have enough stone for more castles as well. Let's make them work for it. Come on up here and repair this one. I'm going to start getting Conquistadors. Conquistadors seem like a pretty good choice, if only because they they don't really cost anything to upgrade because they can't be upgraded. So, in a way, um, they're not relying on upgrades, I should say. They're a very strong Castle Age unit, and I feel like I'm trapped in the Castle Age, and there's like no way we're going to be able to get to Imp. At least not before this ends, right? Because it's already halfway done. Uh, I'm feeling better. I don't care about this. That's fine. Where are my fishing ships? It's pretty far away. Like, are we really getting good returns from that? Let's just do it like this. Uh, I don't need arson. Though... You know, if I could get to Imp, that would be incredible. I just don't think it's going to happen. I will go Wheelbarrow. Okay, let's get some workers up on gold here. If I if I could go to Imp... The important thing here also is... Okay, Bombard. Again, I have all this light cavalry specifically to chase this stuff down. Just split them up. The Bombard Towers will kill these, but they're cheap. That's the whole idea. Okay, and now they're all dead. <laughs> Alright. We're going to shift to some knights. And I'm out of food. Food? We've been so short on food this whole time. We're going to dive this. We'll go like half and half. Again, the Bombard Towers can't really shoot. They can't really target that much. Um, they can't hit moving targets. I would have expected that they would do some friendly fire, but it doesn't really seem like it. Okay, back up. Uh, 
And then hotkey here. Just because I have to spend so much food on infantry cavalry, I'm not going to be able to... I don't think I'm going to be able to, to build too much here outside of Castle Age or anything out of Castle Age. They do have paladins. If I could steal them, that would be cool. This is why I made halberdiers. Okay, some of you chase down these monks. Take this down. I do have some conquistadors. Not many, but some. I'm going to make some more. Just kill those bombard cannons and then run away if you can. Oh god, dreams of imperial age. Can you imagine if we could get it? I'm just going to make more castles. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to build a new one. I think that's technically all closed. Okay, and I'm making those I'm making those pikemen to counter the paladins because those are scary. Very scary. Oh, increases monk conversion rate. I thought I had that way earlier, but I do not. Let's see if we can take some of these paladins. Again, the rate at which this is going, it's not going to finish in time. So these can kill pretty much all infantry. That's what the conquistadors are for. I mean, and that's also what the castles are for. I think we're on track to do just fine here. See? Actually, I'm going to I'm going to pause real quick cuz I have to uh figure out what we're doing for dinner. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. For you, it was but a moment. Here we are. Um yeah, nothing's changed. It's not like I I, like, played through the mission and came back. Um, I, can't, I feel like I'm queuing stuff up, and I'm not sure why units, like, why it's not actually finishing. We've got a nice little group here. I think we continue to rally our army over in this direction. Halberdier, I mean, they're not halberdiers, but these pikemen, spearmen seem excellent. Again, the wonder's going to finish, I think, before we could get to Imp Age in any meaningful way. Okay, that's done. And we have, like, four castles. I could make almost two more of them. Actually, we just ran out of resources there. You guys come up here on gold? Um, hmm. Again, like, even just, like, long swordsmen could be okay here. Like, just getting our normal infantry upgraded. Um, they're not bringing many pikemen or halberdiers, from what I can tell. So, knight, light, cavs seems to be working out just fine. So, we're going to stick with it. Again, they're in... They, I think they've been in Imperial Age since the beginning, but they're not building many Imperial Age units except for... Except for trebuchets, as far as I can... Oh, and Bombard Cannon. So all their, t all their tech is really scary, but... I think we're fine. Is this technically closed? It makes me a little nervous, to be honest. Well, not like that. See? Well, you could tell the mission's cooled off if this is what I'm doing right now. Yeah, it's tech. That's technically closed. Uh, if we ring this, can can our TC hit this? A lot of a lot of like typical siege can outrange like onagers and mangonels. I think can technically. I think they can outrange the town centers. So I guess just go back to work. Um. The fact that there's really no, like, you have to go outside of your town for lumber is weird in this case. I mean, I did, I mean, went ahead and I, I got my food set up. See, like, now I could go in. But at this point, the enemy attacks have really cooled. And it's over. Okay. <laughs> and it's just over. It just seemed like it had longer to go because it had taken some damage previously, but thankfully we kept it alive. And yeah, we don't have to go and kill Berenger. So that was... 
It's funny because I was about to say that was not too bad. The hardest part were that they brought Bombard Cannons and Trebs, which I would expect in a holdout, but it was so close to their base that trying to dive on top of them, you were taking direct Bombard Cannon fire, and those are relatively weak in the sense that you can kite their shots, but not if you have to stand in place to attack trebuchets. Um, I think Scout Cavalry or Light Cavalry was a really good choice. I don't see any pathway to getting to Imperial Age in order to get out Halberdiers and Hazars in time for this. And the thing is, Spanish late game is actually really strong because they have so many good options. So I think the whole point of this mission is to force the player to contend with trying to get to Imperial Age, but not quite being able to. How abundant the orange groves and olive trees seem to the conquerors who had come from bleak Castile. Valencia was a tropical paradise, complete with palm trees, a silk market, and abundant fish and waterfowl. After the Cid had secured the castle and saw to the defenses of the city, he sent for me and the children. Our reunion took place on the highest tower of the castle, before a sea that consumed the entire horizon. We turned Valencia into our own kingdom, uniting 8,000 Christian and 20,000 Moorish soldiers. It was the greatest of the Cid's accomplishments to date. We were far away from the reach of King Alfonso, and Count Berenguer himself was safely locked in Valencia's dungeons. In time, he would be ransomed, and one of our daughters married to his nephew and heir, to ward against future conflicts. If only the tale of the Cid had ended there, beneath the Valencian sunsets, but it was not to be. Valencia lay right in the path of the advancing horde of the frenzied Lucy and his Berber warriors. Womp womp. So this was an interesting one. Also, I've gotten I've gotten a, a really good suggestion from a commenter. Thank you. To when we're doing like the retrospective on the map, we should use the return to map so we can see like what we missed and what there was. I think I did okay fishing from the Mediterranean. We could have done a lot more, but I had a lot of lumber, and in fact, I think I went too hard on lumber early. And then I ended up not needing it. Uh, I should have transitioned that into farms and food a lot faster. And then we could have pushed out uh, more like cavalry. Uh, so the hint said that he would do uh, like a variety of archers. Like the archers didn't concern me. But it said that he would do a variety of stuff. Uh, and that I found to be quite interesting. Because it was mostly just siege weaponry. So light cav was the right choice. I wasn't sure like how much... Uh, how much of like the pikeman spam he would do or uh, how many conquistadors he would have any of that kind of stuff so I just you know I had to do like a well-rounded force but light cav and how and uh, pikeman rather I keep wanting to say halberdiers were the right choice um, and I would have gone harder on food had I known that that was the case I mean I, I had a feeling that castles weren't going to be that useful considering he was going to be bring trebs but I also didn't realize that he had these um, destroying these would have been really, really useful. I'm not sure if I could have gotten away with it, but if we could have gotten rid of those bombard towers, uh, this would have been much easier. But I didn't scout them to know they were there. Also, I don't know if I had what was necessary to actually take them out early enough, because we would have had to build a siege workshop and then rams, etc., etc. This is a good map, though. Uh, as usual, Age of Empires 2 is very, very swingy in terms of balance. Some maps feel just right, and some maps feel uh, crazy. Um, I wouldn't consider this one crazy, but it was certainly harder uh, than the last two. All right, well, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.